The historical photos of the bond between the Cuban force and Fulgencio Batista you need to see. Let's take a journey back in time to explore the intricate relationship between the Cuban armed forces and Fulgencio Batista. As we delve into this fascinating period of political and social upheaval, we'll discover a tumultuous era in Cuban history marked by Batista's authoritarian regime. Through this exploration, we'll gain insights into the events and personalities that shaped Cuba's past and learn more about the complex bond that existed between the military and Batista's government. So, come along with us on this journey as we uncover the historical images and stories that offer a glimpse into Cuba's captivating past. Fulgencio Batista Fulgencio Batista was a prominent Cuban military leader and a politician who played a significant role in the country's history. He served as the president of Cuba twice, first from 1940 to 1944 and later from 1952 to 1959, when he was overthrown by a Cuban revolution led by Fidel Castro. Batista's relationship with the Cuban armed forces was a crucial factor in his political career and it helped him maintain power for many years. First Presidential Term Fulgencio Batista's bond with the Cuban military was formidable during his first presidential term from 1940 to 1944. As a former army sergeant, he had the support of many military leaders. Batista worked towards implementing policies that favored the military, such as increasing their salaries and providing promotions. He also appointed loyal officers to high-ranking positions within his government. This alliance helped Batista maintain stability in the country and he instituted several economic and social reforms during this time. By relying on the military, Batista was able to make significant strides in modernizing the country and promoting social progress, but this came at the cost of a growing disparity between the haves and have-nots. Meeting with Cuban Force Leaders Fulgencio Batista held frequent meetings with several prominent leaders of the Cuban armed forces to solidify his political power and gain their support. These meetings served as a means for Batista to promote officers loyal to him and offer incentives to those who supported his regime. Some of the notable military leaders that Batista met with include General Francisco Tabanilla and Colonel Ramon Barquin. In addition to strengthening his political power, these meetings allowed Batista to gather intelligence on potential threats to his regime and plan his responses accordingly. Second Presidential Term Fulgencio Batista's second presidential term from 1952 to 1959 was characterized by his strong bond with the Cuban armed forces. After staging a coup to take power, Batista relied heavily on the military to maintain his regime. He promoted officers loyal to him and allowed them to hold positions of power in his government while also providing them with generous salaries and benefits. Batista's regime was marked by corruption, repression, and violence against political opponents, which further strengthened his alliance with the military. However, his reliance on the armed forces would ultimately contribute to his downfall as the military's support for his regime began to wane in the face of widespread public opposition and the growing revolutionary movement by Fidel Castro. Revolution of 1959 Fulgencio Batista's close bond with the Cuban armed forces was a crucial factor that contributed to his downfall during the Cuban Revolution of 1959. After regaining the presidency in 1952 through a coup d'etat, Batista relied heavily on the military to maintain his grip on power. However, his brutal tactics to suppress dissent and maintain control led to widespread dissatisfaction among the population. Fidel Castro emerged as the leader of a revolutionary movement against Batista's government, and with the support of the people, they overthrew Batista's regime in 1959. Batista fled the country, and his strong ties to the military were seen as one of the primary reasons for his downfall. Conclusion the connection between Fulgencio Batista and the Cuban military was a perplexing and dynamic relationship that assumed a huge part in Cuban history. Batista's dependence on the military to keep up with his hold on power assisted him with remaining in office for a long time, however, it likewise added to his defeat. While Batista's heritage stays questionable, his story fills in as a wake-up call about the risks of dictatorship and the significance of popularity-based foundations in guaranteeing steadiness and progress in the public eye.